Okay, so now we're going to talk about the difference between the graphics cards on the MSI GT660 and the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro, the biggest difference as an integrated graphics card, which means that it is not separate. It has, it, it's basically built into the processor and it uses up uh, the system's RAM. So if you have four gigs of RAM like I do on this 13 inch Core i5 MacBook Pro, it kills about 500 megabytes of that RAM. While the GTX 285M on the MSI GT660 is not an integrated graphics card, meaning it basically runs by itself. It has one gig of memory and it doesn't interfere with the memory the laptop has. If it has six gigs of memory, basically it doesn't even touch that because it has its own one gig. Okay, so now we're gonna compare the ports on each system. I'll start off with the MacBook Pro. All the ports are on the left side. So that's really easy. It has the, the charging port over there, then it has the Firewire and the Ethernet, the Thunderbolt, the USB, the SD disk chip, and the headset. The other side just has the DVD drive, the optical drive, and the Kensington lock. So basically the USB ports are 2.0, the Thunderbolt can go up to 10 gigabytes of transfer speed, the Firewire is like, I think, 500 megabytes of transfer speed and that's it and the uh, Thunderbolt is also a mini display board now let's get with the MSI the MSI has a lot more fun things well, right off the bat it has the surround sound ports you could connect your surround sound system as well as a mic and headset it has a USB port over here USB 2.0 and uh, of course the optical drive is this right here so now let's go to the back of the laptop okay so the back of the laptop has the charging port, port over here, Ethernet, VGA, eSATA, and HDMI, which is really cool. To get an HDMI cable on my MacBook Pro, I had to get a mini display to HDMI converter cable. And now the other side has two USB 3.0 ports, which could go up to 5 gigabytes of speed of transfer rate, as an SD slot, and as another USB 2.0. Okay, so right now we're going to test the sound quality between the MSI GT660 speakers, which are located over here, and the MacBook Pro speakers, which are behind this thing. And uh, both of these laptops have the feature where the sound waves reflect off the display and uh, it comes towards you to make it sound louder and better. So right now we're going to play the song Party of Bullshit by Biggie on the MSI GT660 at full volume. Play that shit. I was a terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have to trade dudes. And That's about it. And we're gonna do the same thing on the MacBook Pro. Alright, so that was basically the difference. As you can tell, the bass on the MSI GT660 was a lot louder than the MacBook Pro. That's basically the difference you see in the sound over there. So if you love like if you like to make music, have high quality audio, just you should get the MSI GT660. But other than that, the MacBook Pro has okay speakers. It's not really low like I've seen in some laptops, which is just horrible. The MacBook Pro will satisfy you in, in volume. Quickly, now we're going to talk about the size comparisons. As you can see, the MacBook Pro is a lot smaller. I would say it's half the size of the MSI GT660. See over here is when it's when it's in sleep, it's half the size. And then on top of that, this is the size difference between the MSI and the MacBook Pro. The MSI does have a 16 inch display so that's why it's bigger while the MacBook Pro only has a 13.3 inch display. That's basically the size comparison of the MacBook Pro and the MSI as you can see over here. Oh 
Okay, so now this is the bonus little comparison between the these two um, products. In the MSI GT660, there are the shortcut keys over here. The shortcut keys are located over here on top of the panel by the speakers. You can press something, it'll light up. And you got the shortcut keys and so on. On the Mac Pro, they are available, but they are on the F1 and through F10, no, F12. As you can see over there, you got the volume. But once again, I said they're F1 through F12, so you would have to, if you want to use the F keys, you would have to hold this. FN button and then press them. Also, the MSI GT660 has this P1 button which is programmable. You could set it to whatever you want. You could open iTunes, a game, internet, whatever you want it to open. To set it, you could set it to whatever you want and it will open that. Alright, so now we have the difference between the flex of the display. The MacBook Pro doesn't flex that much. As you can see over here, this is probably the max that it could go. And that's about it. While, on the other hand, you see the MSI GT660 goes all the way down, like that. So if that floats your boat, you're going to love this feature. If it doesn't, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, the last bonus thing is the hard drives. The MSI GT660 has two hard drives, while this one only has one. The memory on this is 500 added with the two hard drives, or half a terabyte. And here it's only 320 gigabytes of memory. And that's basically it for the bonus comparisons. Now I hope everyone enjoyed that video. If you liked it, it doesn't hurt to click that like button down there. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button up there. That's all you gotta do. Now it's promised. I'm gonna show all you guys how to fist pump like a bro. This is what you do. You gotta feel the beat.